Hello everyone and welcome back to Niche and holy cow, look at this place! Look at it! This this is amazing! I didn't know the graphics had updated! You guys, look at this place! Aw oh, man! This game just keeps getting better and better and better. So welcome everyone, we're actually in the 4.5 update, which I didn't even know had come out until you guys started telling me about it because I think it's still just an experimental release. And I couldn't even find an official announcement on it. So, I don't know what to expect. I'm hearing murmurings that we might have a hybridization in the game. But I can't really find any information on this update for some reason. So yeah, I'm kind of just jumping in blind. I don't even know what we're looking for here. But hopefully, we'll be able to find... <laughs> uh, hopefully, we'll be able to find out pretty soon. But yeah, so... Oh my gosh. Uh... Things are very different. Look at this. What in the... Wait. Progress zero of a... What? Collect poison berry? What is happening? What is this? I don't even know what I'm looking at. I couldn't find any information on something. Do you have this too? Yeah, you got all this too. What the... Normal... Um... Oh. Family tree. This is the mutation menu, isn't it? That's the family tree. That's the mutation menu. This still works the same way, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, that's marked now a different color. Whoa. Alright, so let's see. So, uh, if we're in a hot climate, we should make progress. Um... This increases by random chance. Um, this increases with attack in cold climate. Attack in hot climate. Okay, so there's now a difference in the horns and how they work. Okay. Moving in the beach in the shallow sea increases the platypus beak chance. Can we select these or not? We might- I think we can and can't select them. I think we can select what we're trying for. It looks like. Okay. Uh, derp snout randomly increases. This. Big body increase- oh! Big body increases by taking damage- or by having the cold effect and receiving damage. Also by being in a cold climate. Lean bodies- like that with the hot climate. I don't even know. I don't even know. Collect and crack. I don't even know. I don't know what we're looking at. Uh, okay, so I think you have. Okay, speed and collecting, that seems to be the same. I'm gonna have you collect. The sound's different. Let's have these guys. Um, oh, I should have had her be the one to collect. Man, the sounds are different. Uh, she can actually hop up here, dig once, and then come back down here. There's another berry bush that looked different. I wonder if that's the toxic berries. Let's start a new day. What's this? So we had sea spore. Neither of these guys have the cripple pot either, which is nice. Uh, they do have some of the bad eyes, though. I'm gonna move her up here. What is th What is this? Toxic berry bush. I don't want to collect from that yet until I know what we're getting into. Let's have her make a nest. And there is a lot of toxic berry bushes. Um. Okay. I think I'm gonna actually have Cease or one of the young ones eventually collect. What is this? He's hot because he has big body and it's warm here I guess is this oh that went down okay that got closed what if you collect it gives you food so what's happening with the mutation menu where was what is this per creature now I think it might be per creature 
medium lean or spiky what body type does she have she has medium okay and he has big which isn't so he can't even get the oh does it work per line i don't know what i'm looking at <laughs> i'm just gonna keep playing and see what happens uh, let's gather that if you have to unlock them individually for each creature it's gonna be a pain what about you are you able to unlock no but let's have i'm gonna move kanuta up here oh there's another nest i'm actually gonna bring her up here and have her i'm gonna watch and see so it says zero of 100. oh what oh but it made pro oh okay it made 20 progress um can we do anything to help with that? We can't. Oh, dang it. Um, but if we do that, it gives us- oh. Wow, ah, this is blowing my mind. I am so confused. Uh, let's breed them, though. I'm sorry, Eve, I didn't mean to make you sick. I just wanted to see what happened. We're gonna do a lot of the things in this game for science, guys. Uh, so I do apologize if I do something that, that ends up having bad results. Because this is totally different. I have no idea what I'm doing. And look at this. is like cattails down by the water. And there's... We don't have a snow port, I don't think. And we may still go back to our other tribe, but I don't 100% know for sure. Okay, I hear moles. I don't know for sure, though. So... Oh, she's still taking damage. So, but I'm actually gonna have her keep gathering a couple of times, and then I'm gonna move her down here and breed them. Hopefully she won't take too much damage, because I want to see if we can max her out on this skill. Because if that... I think what we have to do then is have it so that each creature has the required ability to mutate. Oh, this is messing with me, you guys. This is seriously messing with me. Um, let's come up here. There's more toxic berry bushes. So it looks like they're only toxic when you gather them. Now, he's not getting poisoned. Is that because he has poison fangs? Plus one poison resistant. <gasps> so if we want to be able to gather from these berry bushes, we've got to have the poison fangs. Okay, I'm starting to get it, you guys. I'm starting to get it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Eve. But let's see. I'm going to have you gather again. I'm so sorry. But I want to see if we can get you to unlock. I want to see what happens. So we've now unlocked... This looks like it's a one possibility. If we keep doing it... I'm sorry, I'm making her a little bit sick here. It doesn't. Okay, it doesn't. Okay, so from this point on, it doesn't gather anymore. So we probably don't want to have her keep uh, collecting them. So I don't really want po the poison body anyway, so... Ooh. This is going to be tough to get, because we have to get attacked, or bleeding, or heavy bleeding. Let's see. Um, derps now. Oh, so negative genes can randomly start to show up. So we want to keep any of our breeding creatures away from the water, too, so they won't have that platypus beak. And then, let's look at these guys, so... Do any of these guys... Does he actually have poison resistance? What is... What do you... Okay, poison resistance, so he doesn't actually have it. Let's have him come up here. Oh, we'll actually have him kill this mole, because it was facing away from him. I forgot there was one there. And then, okay, berries have grown back. We will stop letting Eve get poisoned because we now know that uh, we now know that she's not a good candidate to have a uh, work with the, the poison berry bushes. So let's see. Let's keep gathering. And is there a way? Well, no. I don't think we can mutate in. I think mutation menu only applies to creatures that don't already have the gene. It looks like because he doesn't have one for poison fangs. So we want to try and get poison- f I, w I want to get poison fang in the family for now so we can gather from these berry bushes because there's a heck of a lot of them it looks like. So let's start looking at our creatures. I want to look at the ones in particular who don't have- oh! Who don't have digging paw, okay. You have awful genetics, my dear, but he has great genetics. So I think we'll have him- Yes, I think we'll have him do- oh, 
I just realized these berry bushes are another way to get it. Ah, these, these berry bushes are another way for creatures that <laughs> are not going to be used for breeding to end up uh, dying off while still helping the tribe. Uh, yeah, that's going to be another thing, isn't it? Um, oh, Eve, I'm so sorry. Please tell me that effect is almost over. It's not almost over. She may actually die of poisoning. That's not good. I am so sorry, Eve. At least we have the ability to have another breeding pair. <laughs> I did not know that was going to happen. Oh, thank goodness we've got another berry bush. A normal one, that is. Uh, not one of those, those toxic berry bushes. There's so many toxic berry bushes. Why? Why is that even? So to be able to survive on this island, I think we're actually... Oh, she's not... We don't have enough to repair the nest. Okay. I'm gonna have her g gather these because I don't think she's gonna make it another day. I'm sorry, Eve. We needed to know what would happen, though, so we know what not to do in the future. I'm very sorry, Eve. <laughs> I feel really bad about that now. Uh, do these guys all have webbed hind legs? Some of them have webbed hind legs, because, okay. He has secondary webbed hind legs, and what did she have? She had double webbed hind legs. Great. So do these guys actually normal hind legs and normal hind legs? That's good. Okay. Uh, they're not quite old enough to breed, so we'll have her keep gathering. Uh, we can't do much with a lot of these berry bushes until... Okay, but he can gather. And I'm actually... Well, we can't destroy that. That was a natural nest. Oh, we can kill that, though. So we can't do... What are you... Anna Isi, what genetics do you have? I should be watching the fertility, too. Uh, let's see. Antlers, medium ears, derp snout, medium body. Lots of interesting genes. How's your immunity compared to what you have? I think it's totally different. Yeah, it's totally different. Not quite totally different. Uh, let's invite her into the tribe. No harm in having another creature show up. Now, let's gather some of this grass. I'll have, we can gather some from here. And we'll continue exploring this way. I'm trying to listen around too. I don't hear too much at the moment. But yeah, wow, this game is so different. I did not, this makes it a little bit interesting when it comes to figuring out what, what creatures you want to breed. This may, this adds a whole new dynamic to that, I will say that. Uh, so these guys, oh wait. No, it's these two we want to breed. Yes. So we can't breed them just yet. It's so much brighter too, like the game itself is more vibrant. Uh, that's very cool to see. And then Karana. I may move up here. Let's keep gathering. We've got plenty of food at the moment, at least. Let's keep gathering from here. And no one can gather from these berry bushes yet except for Adam. So let's come back down here. There's so many poison berry bushes. I'm not sure I like this. Uh, although it does mean that if you have poison resistance... Did she... She can't collect it all, can she? But she wasted her moves on it. That's that's frustrating. Um, it does mean that if you have good poison resistance, there's a lot more food to be had. All right. So let's get these guys back to this area, which is kind of our, our breeding area. And it didn't work. Okay. So let's put her in the nest and we'll gather from the good berry bush. Let's keep going. So the baby does have secondary poison fang, but does not have dominant poison fang. So let's breed them and have her go up here. He can keep gathering from these poison berry bushes. And we will keep, if we smell them, do they smell different? They don't have a smell. Okay, but there is a bunny. Let's see. There's a bunny and a normal. Why can't I smell? Oh, it's a bunny burrow. That's why it's darker. Okay. 
Lots of new and confusing things in this version, so I didn't even know this version was a thing. I didn't, not at all. Alright, let's... Oh, you probably need to stay over here, actually. Alright, let's come back over here. Oh, and of course there's a drought. Let's move you, we'll gather. I'm gonna put her down here and breed them. And then he can keep gathering from these poison bushes. Those are a, an excellent source of food if you have the poison fang. Unfortunately, oh, Duke Duke, I'm actually gonna mark him as Omega because he's not a good creature for breeding. Alright, let's make sure these guys continue to gather up from these berry bushes so that we have a good source of food for when we need it. In fact, I'll put her here. Let's go this way. Here is another normal berry bush and another nest. Do I smell anything unusual around here? I do smell a mole, which we are going to go take out. There we go. And yeah, she can't actually collect. Okay. So I'm going to move her this way and him down here because he can collect. And then we can collect from these. You can keep moving this way. And that's another toxic berry bush. So many toxic bushes. Uh, it's a little bit scary. And have we had, we had a creature that <laughs> had the antlers. I like these antlers. So, so far Isla is good. I'm actually gonna mark her. She's our best child. I'm gonna mark her with blue in the middle because she has the gene we're going for. And traditionally in our tribes, blue has always meant, oops. Uh, that it's a creature we genetically do want to, uh, well, that we want to pass on their genetics through breeding, basically. So blue has traditionally meant that amongst our tribes, and we will continue that tradition here. Uh, we'll start a new day again. And let's see. Ow, genetically. Oh, they're at, ooh. You know what? F and G... B and A. They're actually not at all genetically similar. We could even breed her <laughs> a little bit, a little bit creepily back to her grandfather. Uh, normally that's not something we like to think of, but when it comes to such a small genetic population like this, sometimes things like that have to happen. Uh, but we could actually breed her back to her grandfather and not have any ill effects because their genetics, despite the fact that they are related, are different enough so that it wouldn't be an issue. Let's continue to gather up some of this grass as well. We'll gather up some of the grass over here. And I want to keep her around here, just in case. Oh good, the rain has come. And we also have Tanu, who does have the same genetics as her, but who um, has a he does have the, the poison fangs as well, so that is a good thing. And we're going to keep gathering up from these. Kunu, I'm actually going to send this way because I think we may have some more bushes nearby. Uh, we want to make sure we are keeping up with gathering from the bushes. Gather some from each. And we can come over here and help gather just a little bit. We can gather from here. We have lots and lots of food. Food for once is not an issue, it often it becomes one. I assume this is the path to Jungle Island, we're probably going to stay away from that. And she is now old enough to be able to breed, and I think we're actually going to breed her back to Adam. Now, like I said, we're doing that so that we can hopefully get the Poison Fangs in, which opens up one, two... There's another over here somewhere. There's a lot of them. There's like one up here. Yeah, three. There are at least three, and I'm pretty sure there are more that I just can't see at the moment. Sources of food. We want to have access to as many of them as possible. Yep, there's even a fourth one. Um, the more sources of food we have access to, the better. So we want to try and open that up by right away getting in those poison fangs. That also will help us when it comes time for us to fight, because eventually that does happen with pretty much every tribe. So I'm also going to bring Cease over here, breed them, breed them again, make sure it works, and then um, we will uh, gather from that bush there. Let's continue on. 
We had another creature. He does, again, have the secondary poison fangs. And this one, oh, she didn't get the poison fangs double like I was hoping. But hopefully we're at least spreading our genetics out a little bit more. All right, I'm gonna bring him down here. I'm gonna bring her here. We're gonna breed them. And, oh, she can't make a nest, can she? Okay, let's quickly prioritize gathering up some nesting material if we can. We can gather that, gather that. Gather here. We have not managed to get any more nesting material though. That's a little irritating. Oh, we got, no. Because he is actually going to pass away. I think we need to prioritize getting her in this nest because Cease will be able to breed again. Just not... Like, they have more time left in their lives than Adam does. So we need to prioritize ma in making sure we can breed Adam before he ends up passing away. We may be amongst these guys. Oh yeah, now we would have enough. But it's better safe than sorry. And let's make sure we gather from here. We could have dug as well. They It looks like they can dig even if they... Well, no, but they won't get anything from it. But they can... Un oh! That's how they can start to unlock the digging paw. I see. They can dig for food even if they won't get anything from it. And that will start to unlock the ability to actually have... Oh, we got a poison fang! Yes! Uh, to actually unlock some of this. Why is this... Because he has it. No. Do these... Do his parents have it? One. Oh, so they can inherit it. It looks like... Do we have... A, how do we have no pot? Oh. Oh. Wait, no, no. That's the... What am I doing? I'm clicking both females. Yellow. And carries it. Does he carry it? He carries it. They both have, they both carry it, and it's gr it's green on the baby. Okay, I'm starting to get a grasp for how this works, I think. Alright, let's breed them. So we do at least have another poison thing to carry on. And don't worry entirely about our other tribe, I haven't forgotten them. Uh, they, we are playing in an updated version with which the old save is not compatible but we may return to them. If you guys still want to see how their story ends, we did have quite a bit of awful luck trying. Oh, crud, I did not mean to do that. I am so sorry, Nudonuk. I am so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oops. Thankfully, he at least wasn't one of the ones we wanted to breed. But okay, also, so see, let's look at Nutaduk's parents. If we look at the family tree, where's Nutaduk? Nutaduk, Tanu, and Cease. So let's find Tanu, wherever he is. So Tanu, oh yeah, okay. So Tanu, oops. Tanu had 80, and Cease got 100. So. I think, where, where was the baby I'm looking at? No, it was him. He actually, if they get yellow, it looks like they pass it on and it turns green. So you can increase the chance by breeding over not just one generation, oops, but many. That makes sense. Okay. I'm figuring this out, you guys. It's slow, but I'm getting there. Eventually. Eventually we will figure this out. <laughs> uh, but man, this is so much more complicated than I thought. Oops, see, he just got nimble fingers. So a lot of our collectors are working towards nimble fingers. That actually makes it exponentially easier to be able to get lines for, to breed for certain things because you can have a collecting line versus a fighting line. Oh, that actually makes things much easier. Wow, okay. So yeah, we've just started get, getting into this new update and there's already so much new to learn and explore. Uh, I've already been enjoying myself greatly and I hope you guys have too. So thank you all for watching and I will see you guys next time when we will continue to explore this awesome new update. And until then, this is Jay, over and out.